Hey, Matt Boggs here with some important do's and don'ts when it comes to online dating. I'm going to give you three powerful do's and don'ts. The first don't regards your profile. I'm going to give you three P's here. So the first P is your profile. Do not, please do not give a list of qualities of who you are. I am smart, caring, generous, and funny. Right? If you went out on a date with somebody and they said, you know what, my friends really consider me quite funny. What would be your perception of that person? You'd be like, well, okay, you're funny, show me you're funny. The whole idea of a profile is to stand out, right? Is to separate ourselves from everyone else. When it comes to profiles, everybody who starts out, they don't know what to say, so they just put a list. Here, just a hot list of the things about me, right? Do not put lists. The best thing that you can do is tell a little story about yourself or just give an example about yourself. So if you're generous, instead of saying, yes, I'm a very generous person, don't say that. Say, you know what? I'm the kind of girl that if I will wake up at four o'clock in the morning to drive you to the airport to catch your 6 a.m. flight for a business meeting, and I'm going to give you the best goodbye kiss you have ever had when I drop you off. So now your man is thinking, wow, like that's a quality woman and she's sexy. If you're adventurous, say, you know what, I'm the kind of woman who we're going to hike to the top of Devil's Backbone in the last 50 yards. I'm going to, I'm going to challenge you to a race and I just might beat you, right? Give pictures and examples of the kind of woman you are because those pictures actually ignite an emotional connection in your man. Pictures generate emotion in us and we get emotion, we feel connected to the thing that we've generated emotion about. About, aka you. Number two, let's talk about pictures. Are pictures important? Absolutely, pictures are important. When it comes to guys, our biggest sex organ is our eyeballs. Online dating is just an extension of real life dating and we do not approach a woman who we don't find attractive. Yes, we're hoping that she has character and she has qualities that match up with us and that she is amazing on all fronts, but the first thing that causes us to reach out to someone is their level of attractiveness to us. So when it comes to pictures, make sure that you put a variety of pictures online. Here are things to do when it comes to pictures. Make sure that you have a picture A, of your face close enough that we can see your eyes and what your eyes look like and a smile. Number two, make sure that you have a full body shot because it's important to guys. We want to know that we're going to be attracted to you when we see you in person. It's He will be more likely to reach out to you and more likely to ask you out when he has, he can see your face and your full body. And number three, make sure it is a recent photo, right? I know that you may have been sexier 10 years ago. I know that there might be a younger version, younger photos that look better and you're like, ah, I still kind of look like that. If you still kind of look like that, don't post the photo. Post a, post a current photo. Why? Because when you show up, believe me, he will notice the difference and it will be a disappointment. You do not want the first interaction disappointing. And if you're a little self-conscious about your body, let me squash that right now. It does not matter if you are large or if you are skinny or if you are tall or if you are short. It doesn't matter. Why? Because there is a man who is loving on you and your body type. There's a man who's loving on you. I have guys that are like, look, I do not want to be with a skinny woman. It hurts when you roll around in a bed with a skinny woman. I, want, I like my women large. I like when they're soft and squishy and I can have fun with them. And I have other guys who are like, no, I don't like that. I actually like the thinner women. So I don't care what it is that you have. Just know this and remember this. Whatever it is you have going on with your body, there is a man who is digging on you and who loves that. So some don'ts about your photos. Do not have all your photos as you as little specks on top of a mountaintop where we can't see your face or you snowboarding where you're wearing goggles and a helmet and the only thing we can see is this part of you. Action shots are cool, but if that's all you have, that doesn't actually let us see your face. The second don't is do not, please, crop yourself out of a photo with you with an ex-boyfriend where you know you know the photos that I'm talking about that you've seen them on the guys profiles where the guy like a guy's there and a girl's arm is around his waist but she's no longer there in the picture and someone clearly just cropped them out do not do that have some great and the third actually we'll add one don't have all your photos as selfies because someone's asking well this is great they're all selfies but does this person have any friends is she ever with anybody when she goes out to be able to take a photo so have some photos with you with some friends with other people taking pictures of you and some selfies is fine as well 
Now, the third tip when it comes to online dating is playfulness. In life, we got way too much to be serious about. Serious about work, stressed out, stressed out about what's going on in our lives. Dating should be fun. Right? We want to be with someone who actually takes the pressures off. So be playful in your profile. You know, write stuff that's that's pertinent to you, things that you like. For like, pick a movie quote or a, a music line, and say two points if you can guess where this, what movie this is from. And for example, one of my favorite movies, a quote I'll just share with you right now is, "America's about speed, hot, nasty, badass speed." Eleanor Roosevelt, 1923. <laughs> Two points for you if you can actually name that movie and post it in the comments below. But put that kind of stuff in your profile. You know, when someone reaches out to you, chances are they're going to reach out, they're going to be boring and they're going to be straight, straightforward. But people who understand human dynamics know that you do not have to respond to a boring inquiry with a boring response. Right? You can actually be fun and playful. So if a guy reaches out to you and he goes, yes, I really found your profile to be interesting and please check out my profile and if it's interesting to you, email me back. And you can email him back and say, hey, thanks so much for reaching out to me. I checked out your profile, but what I'm really interested in is when you were a kid, were you more of a Cheerios or a Kicks kind of guy? Hey, just have fun with it, right? That will set you apart because so many people get nervous and stiff and they just email back uh, you know, the straight up answers and the straight up questions. But when you're with your girlfriends and when you're having fun, you're letting your inner dork come out. You're having a lot of fun with it. So these are just a few great tips for do's and don'ts when it comes to online dating. I hope you enjoyed them. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure that you get subscribed so you get the latest and greatest videos. And as always, I've posted an extra link in the description for you. It's an amazing resource that goes deep into the strategies for what to do and what to avoid when it comes to online dating. That's a gift to you. I hope you check it out. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to connecting soon.